Okay, well, let just move the laptop. Um, what I'm about to show, oh shit, sorry. What I'm about to show you here is a vintage 1974, I believe. Tempest Fugit or Tempest Fugit. Uh, <clears throat> Seth Thomas by General Tom, the Division of Tally Industries. Quartzmatic quartz clock. This is an interesting clock. The uh, type of movement in this thing is kind of interesting. It's amazing how a quartz clock from back then is so much better than today's. Um, here we go. Let me show you. This is a very heavy little clock. Swiss case, as you can see there, Swiss made case, the movement in this thing is made in, in, in the US, we put a new feet on because the original felt feet were all gone, here's the uh, information, catalog number <coughs> 153, Name endowment model 0153-000. Quartz Mac by Seth Thomas, the world's most accurate clock. Caution: Do not leave dead batteries in clock. Use two one and a half volt C cells. Nita number 14. Seth Thomas Division. General Time Italian Industries Company. Thompson, Connecticut. 07. 06787. Okay. Well, that was a mouthful. Actually, you can probably hear it. I don't know. But the uh, motor in this thing, I believe, the drive circuit with the quartz oscillator and the IC actually put a 60 hertz frequency into the motor because it's not a self starting movement. So I was sitting here and I had it turned on. But the movement wasn't running yet because I didn't start it. And it was making the same kind of buzz, say, like if I plug this clock in and the motor wasn't moving. So, or this one over here, the same kind of 60 hertz buzz. So I believe this is a 60 hertz drive circuit in this thing. If anyone can let me know for sure, that would be nice. Here's the back. I only paid $24. It was 12 shipping. Uh, there's a reason. It's a very heavy clock. And it was packed very well, and it was twelve dollars for the clock. It wasn't bad. There's the movement. Came with two batteries. The seller was very, was very quick to ship it out. Packed very well. A plus seller, and it was real nice to include the two batteries, even though I didn't see anything about the batteries being included in the auction. This is interesting. I'm not going to take it off now, but this back piece does just slide off, really. And gently tilt it on its front, and you can see the inside. This is a speed adjustment. Under that rubber plug, there's a screw. No idea what this rubber plug's for. I see there is the back of the second shaft. The only thing I can think of is maybe animation on some models, or maybe in case they ever needed it, so they just left it there. 3 volt motor, 3 volt movement. You can almost see the motor, you can see the rotors outlined there. You can almost see it moving. Very big, bulky little synchronous, it's a small synchronous motor, but for a battery powered clock, it's a very large motor. Patent pending, made in USA. Push to start, pull and turn to set. You have to pull this knob out. Pull it, turn it, and set the time. And then when you do once that's done, you have to push it in until it clicks, basically. And then the movement starts. Uh, that's actually from the battery thing. Well, battery thing. I left it went in there, and I left it in there, so it's kind of protected. It doesn't hurt anything. There's nothing moving there. You can see heavy-duty radioactive batteries, which are actually pretty decent. Let's see, there's a screw that held the front on. When I got it, the Tempest Fugit, or 
you get logo. There's a screw that broke. This screw is already broken when I got it though. Uh, the same. The logo was missing. It wasn't missing. It was loose. It was rattling around. So I had to glue it back on. So I did that with this here. Crazy glue. Hold on. I wanted YouTube to get there. Get all pissy because I have music on. It's a very heavy little clock. Yeah, I glued it back on. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching, and that is my Seth Thomas by General Time by Tally Industries. Uh. Quartzmatic, yeah. I looked right at it, I couldn't think of how to say it. Quartzmatic, uh, oh, not electric, battery powered quartz clock from what I believe to be February of two, 1974. I cannot talk. So, anyway, thanks for watching.